In today's video, we're going to go over the 90-90 active hip stretch. To get into this position, we're going to have one leg in external rotation in what looks like a shin box. So we're going to have a 90 degree angle here at the knee and hip. The back leg is going to be in internal rotation with another 90 degree angle here at the knee. We're going to keep our toes pulled up towards our shins on both legs. Next, we're going to take the hands and you're going to try and create tension however you feel comfortable. So we can take the Hands make a fist, retract the shoulders, pull them back and create the tension this way. You can clasp the hands, push forward, create tension this way. We can go up overhead into a streamlined diving position, create tension this way. Whatever you feel comfortable with or whatever your little heart desires. From there, we're going to take a big breath in, exhale, blow all the air out and pull our rib cage down to our pelvis. After we get this nice brace position for a nice neutral spine, we're going to sip air into it. And that's going to be our starting point. So let's create our tension, pull the shoulders back, inhale, exhale, pull the rib cage down, sip air in. And now we're gonna try and get our navel or our belly button in line with our femur on the leg that's in external rotation. So we're gonna shift the hips, trying to pull this back hip forward as we drive the right knee into the ground. That's gonna set a good hip pelvis position, start to activate all those muscles in and around the hip. We're then gonna think about pulling ourselves down towards the ground and that hinge point is coming through the hip joint not through the back so we shouldn't see any motion coming through here and rounding forward all we're going to do is pull ourselves down try and compress 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 once we reach that end range you're going to feel some nice juicy stretching in that back hip we're going to breathe here so i want you guys to take three full breaths in and out Nice long exhales. This is gonna teach the brain to own this position. We're gonna use our hip to pull ourselves back up to the starting point, and then we're gonna switch positions. So the key to this is keeping that leg that's in external rotation down as long as we can. So I'm gonna try and drive this knee through the floor as I pick that back knee up. So once again, keeping our tension, Trying to pull, 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 pull that back knee up until eventually this right one is trying to come up with it. So then I'm going to bring it up into this bare sit position. So my toes are facing forward in this nice box. And then I'm going to try and take that left knee down to so that previously back knee down towards the ground and then drive the right knee into that internal rotation position. So we're mimicking the position we started with, but switching legs at this point. Now we're going to do the same thing. Inhale, exhale, pull that rib cage down, sip air in, create our tension. Let's go forward this time and pull once again, compressing our trunk down to our femur. Pull, 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 reach, 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 breathe. Pull ourselves back up and repeat. That would be one rep. So we're gonna keep this left knee down, drive, 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 drive. Try and pull that right leg up until the left knee comes along with it. End up back in our bare sit position. Now we're gonna take that right knee down towards the ground until that left knee needs to come along with it. Pull, 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 pull. Back to our starting position. Now. Getting here takes a lot of work. If you don't have the natural mobility in this position, we can regress a little bit by keeping our hands in front to keep some tension or in the back to keep some tension. Just take a little bit of your body weight off and give yourself a little bit of support. So I just like to set a timer for uh, 10 to 15 minutes and kind of work through these positions to open up the hips.